the SHR uh, can be used as a very precise source measure unit. Um, so we directly apply voltages and have an extremely precise uh, measurement for voltage and current. Uh, so we would like to demonstrate this. We have here um, a high precision digital multimeter from Kiesley, uh, basically that allows us to measure voltages up to 1000 volt uh, to very high precision. So um, I would like to connect this uh, multimeter directly to a channel which I uh, first configure for 1000 volt output voltage. So we have to be a little bit careful not to apply too much voltage to this uh, multimeter, but 1000 volt is okay. And check again, 1000 volt. Okay, it's ramping up. So there's a little deviation between the set and the uh, uh, measured voltage uh, right now, which will be adjusted if we wait a few minutes. Uh, the reason is just that the uh, measurement circuit is more precise than the uh, set circuit in. Uh, for the high voltage power supply. So we see now we are exactly at, or more or less exactly at 1000 volt. And we can have a look at uh, the multimeter where we see um, more or less also exactly 1000 volt. It's 1000 plus, yeah, something like 15, 16 millivolts. So, uh, meaning a deviation of about uh, 20 millivolts for a voltage of 1000 volt. We can ha also have a look at the current measurement here. Um, for this, uh, I connect the uh, ripple test adapter together with uh, the test load again. Disconnect the multimeter. So now we go to 6000 volt. We increase the ramp speed. Okay, uh, right now um, we have connected a load in uh, somewhere in the giga ohm range, so that gives us uh, a current of about four microamps. I can now uh, switch off the load completely. So uh, what we see here now is uh, that there is still some current, it's not exactly zero, although I have switched off the load. Uh, the reason uh, for this is uh, that um, this switchable load uh, is in oil and we have here uh, this, this ripple measurement uh, adapter uh, is a potted device so we have some volume currents which are basically responsible for the five nanoamps we see here. So I can uh, disconnect this, let's say we first disconnect uh, the resistor. So, and we see, okay, we removed this volume currents and after some uh, settling time due to averaging, the current we see or we measure reduces, there's still something left, maybe two nanoamps, so I can completely disconnect everything. And we should see that it uh, goes down really to zero We have a, a precision here of uh, around one nanoamp for this high, uh, high precision device. I can connect the back. So we see again nanoamps 
running through the potting 